Yo, what's up guys? It's you again and welcome back na naman sa panibagong video. And today's uh, video, i-review -re naman natin ang bagong NFT game na soon i-release -re siya, which is Icons of Thea. Now, before natin talakayin at i-review itong game na to, pagbago ka lang dito sa channel, leave lang ng like, comment, and subscribe with the notification bell icon para notified ka every time na may bago tayong video. So, without further ado, let's go! Okay, so icons of uh, Thea or Thea. Yan. So, ito na naman yung bagong uh, video or bagong uh, game. So, simulan natin i-review this uh, first month of the year, 2022. So, i-review na lang natin. Isa silent ko na lang siya or i-mute na lang natin siya para hindi tayo maka-copyright kasi usong-uso yan ngayon sa YouTube. So, ito siya. In a world full of conflict, Okay, humans are called the icons. Okay. Choose your site. Andami. Assemble your icons. Okay. Five characters. And fight for the glory of Thea. Thea. And your turn based strategy, free to play through ownership. Turn based strategy game. And soon, icons of Thea.com. Okay, so pagtitignan na natin siya dito. Ayan, so yun yung glimpse or trailer ng uh, incoming game this year. Ang Icons of Thea. So may kita nyo siya sa iconsoftheia.com. Uh, itong site niya. And may kita nyo yung Discord, White Paper, and About. So, ayan siya. Turn-based combat. Outsmart your opponent's position, your forces, and deploy superior tactics in order to achieve victory hailing from powerful uh, icons hailing from all over Thea each icon has different abilities strengths and weaknesses utilize them to their full potential and write your legacy okay meet the icons icons are the heroes of Thea that have attuned with the crystal to unlock their gift will release more every month. So, every month may mga bagong icons or characters na drag Okay. 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 Choose your faction. This is, uh, Thea is a home for many diverse factions. All fighting over control. All fighting over control over crystal. Huh? Home to many. All fighting over control over crystals which have Mysteriously appeared across the world and the road ahead. Okay, so in 25 days, icon preset. Okay, so in 25 days, so very early tayo ngayon sa game na to. Na discover lang natin siya lately. So in 25 days, ay magkakaro ng preset ng mga characters. Okay. okay, so dito naman, there will be no public token sale. We are building a fun, rewarding game, not a stock. Meme coin or rug pull. Public token sale attracts short-sighted investors through and the short-sighted mindset. We want our game to last for years to come and we'll be selecting strategic value add investors that share our long-term vision. Mm -hmm. So anyone that's looking for a quick buck or pump and dump has misinterpreted motives from us and should look elsewhere. Instead, liquidity will be created through the game itself and will let game demand shape in the market okay so ayos din yun at least uh in kinonfront nila yung mga main issues ng mga games ngayon sa regarding public sales na laging merong pump and dump which is a good thing so ang target talaga nila is yung community uh community driven based yung game oh so send us an email in uh, about your channels and content okay so Pwede tayong maging content creator. Uy! Tignan natin. 
na natin kung makakapag-apply tayo. <laughs> uh, when will be icons of the uh, uh, be released? Currently in development siya and magkakaroon ng beta version early for early backers available for testing around Q3 2022. Okay, so starting pa lang din siya and uh, abot pa ng 2022 but as all the creative endeavors that uh the date can definitely change depending sa development so stay connected with our community through twitter discord and telegram so meron sila dito nakapost na yan nakapost lahat ng socials nila and uh gameplay so paano siya uh, lalaruin so sabi dito mix between league of legends between League of Legends, Fire Emblem, or Final Fantasy Tactics, and Chess. Oh, puro mind games. Eh, imagine controlling a character with unique abilities and moving them across the board like Chess and Fire Emblem with the goal to destroy the enemy base and win like uh, MOBA. Okay, so ito gets ko yung bandang... Uh, Final Fantasy and Chess so turn base talaga siya and League of Legends so I think yung animation ng League of Legends ang gusto nila dito ilabas and uh, we will release icons of Taya with around 20 playable uh, characters and continue to release 2 to 3 each quarter eventually character creation and approval will be assumed by the community itself okay and then my skins. Ooh. We are no, we are firm believers that for a game to be fun and challenging, it has to be fair. So there won't be any pay-to-win components and icons of Taya. All all skins will be purely cosmetic. So I so gusto nyo lang maging unique yung character ninyo. Walang uh, walang effect siya whatsoever. So ano lang talaga siya. Yan, pang pang effects. Depende lang sa taste ninyo. Meron ding mga mapa ba para hindi nakakasuya? Definitely, our goal is to offer different maps that will enable different strategies and playstyles. Okay, so may mga variations din siya. Non-fungible tokens in order for our users to have true ownership of the, ito, the items they obtain in Icons of Thea. Our game items will be non-fungible tokens. There are four main NFTs in our world. Apat. NFTs, of course, yung characters. Yung skins nung characters. Okay. And then, sigils and sigil forges. So, ang dami. Medyo, uh, sabi nga niya, very diverse itong uh, game na to, Icons of Thea. Kaya, um, para to sa mga, uh, mahilig talaga sa mga strategy, turn-based strategy games na malalim kasi meron din siyang mga backstories para talaga malalim yung game. So, may mga stories siya, yung, yung mga factions, yan. Sobrang dami. Kaya, um, pipigayin talaga yung utak natin dito when it comes to uh, diversification. And, and siguro, uh, ito yung isang way niya para hindi maging repetitive yung gameplay. Para hindi, para hindi pa ulit-ulit, hindi, hindi, para hindi maumay tayong lahat. Okay, so ano pa yung roadmap natin? So we divide our roadmap in four phases, each in its own milestones and deliverables. Phase 1, game ideation, token sale, and pre-sale. Phase 2, alpha, open beta, and public game launch. Uh, phase 3, faction wars, and create to earn. Uh, create to earn, okay. And uh, governance and game expansion. Okay, so bandang Q4 and uh, Q3 and Q4, I think ang uh, uh, end of the year, lalabas yung tunay na gameplay niya. So ngayon, is, uh, nagsisimula pa lang sila from scratch. Kaya kapag gusto ninyo yung mga gantong klaseng laro, pwede na kayong mag-invest. Pwede, kayong, pwede nyong uh, supportahan yung team by investing uh, very early in, in the game. Yan, game ideation, so dito nila pinaplano lahat, Q3. And then, NFT art created sa Q4 ng 2021. Ayan, nagsimula na yung uh, game. So, around Q3 and Q4. And then, prototype is this this quarter. First, uh, early year. Dito yung uh, prototype ng game. And then, yung token private sale is early this year also, January. And then, uh, bandang uh, Q2 or second quarter, meron ng alpha game launch. 
and then third quarter is open beta and public launch is Q4 so end of the year uh, fully set na yung game and then phase 3 eto na yung bandan next year na ulit is magkakaroon ng faction wars guild pre-sale yung mga guild wars social and create to earn okay yung earning niya from creating is Q1 so early next year faction wars game public launch okay and then phase 4 ano pa yung phase 4 natin voting through a DAO is Q1 2023. So, ito yung mga or next step nila after nila ma-establish yung game. So, may mga game modes or pwede kang pwede mong gawin. Pwede kang gumawa ng sarili mong map and uh, game format para hindi talaga tayo maumay. Yan. And uh, may kita natin or may witness natin yan early next year. Okay. So, ano yung mga tokens na pwede mong gamitin dito? Ito yung EOT. <laughs> EOT is our native currency powering our in-game economy. The total max supply is uncapped with the total amount in the circulation based on user spending and earning behaviors. Will not sell EOT directly to players. Okay, some ways to earn EOT by playing the game with amounts determined based on rank, win-lose status, and sigil embeds, and account leveling. Quest, achievements, and guilds and faction wars. So, yun yung parang mga ways natin para kumita or para maka-earn ng EOT. Yan yung parang SLP pag sa Axie Terms. So, ano yung uh, purpose ng EOT? Purchasing uh, NFTs. Yan yung characters. Purchasing uh, Sigil Forge NFTs. Creating sigils and unlocking and upgrading sigil and chants. Okay, so marami ng parang burning mecha me, uh, mechanics yung EOT. Yan, so sa pagpili pa lang ng icons, creating sigils. Uh, yan, so madami na kagad siyang ways para makapag-burn, para mabalance natin yung, yung token natin. Okay, so essence capture rate. In order to create a balanced economy, we will limit the amount of essence uh, earnings every user in a set window. So to do this, we will implement a capture rate mechanism. You can think of it as a continuous mechanism that drains after games are played and slowly rejuvenates over time. Yeah. So at least uh, may kita natin dito. Um, pinaghahandaan uh, nila yung um, economics area or yung sa earning mechanics natin. So, may limit lang talaga yung pwede mong makuha per user, per account. Crystal token. Okay, COT is that uh, is our governance token that additionally powers our meta game economy. Uh, 25% of the total COT allocation will be allocated to our games user through gameplay and meta game mechanics. Each day, there will be a set amount of COT earnable through our users. So, dalawa ang uh, pwede nating uh, mag-gain. So, yung EOT at yung COT. Every day. So, users will do various activities in our game and earn crystal tokens for them. At the end of the 24-hour window, the daily crystal token amount is distributed amongst ticket holders. Tickets will be earnable through... So, magkakaroon din ng... Uh, ticket completion of the daily quest to win a game account leveling quest and achievements playing games with your cot sigil embed participating in our create to earn program and guilds and faction wars and tournaments and anong purpose ng cot embedding sigils upgrading embed sigils staking and participating in governance okay so pwede nyo siyang gamitin in many various ways Kaya I think magiging balance ang economy kagat nito. So hindi sila um hindi, hindi very volatile ang magiging resulta ng uh, value ng mga tokens na nandito sa atin. Since na madaming purposes kagat siya on the fly. Uh, or before magsimula yung uh, yung game before nila i-release is nakaset na yung mga kailangan nilang ayusin. When it comes to monetary value or when it comes to pera. Yan. So, kung gusto ninyo ng turn-based game na very in-depth, may story 
and uh, pang long term uh, game or pang long term yung y- yung laro pwede yung ilagay sa watch list ninyo ang icons of Thea and uh, very promising din naman yung mga ino-offer nila pinakita nila yung kung paano nila i-handle yung mga burning mechanics ng token nila para ma-balance or mas, para ma-stabilize yung value ng tokens nila in the future. So, kung gusto ninyo yung gantong klaseng game, so, pwede nyo siyang, pwede nyo siyang tryan na or supportahan ninyo kagad ito at a very early stage nila. Habang wala pa yung game, so, of course, high risk, high reward dyan. So, pag nagtiwala ka kagad sa game, uh, kayo din ang makikinabang. So, always, hindi to financial advice. Uh, always do your own research pa din and invest what you can afford to lose. So, yun lang guys for this video. Kapag nagustuhan yung video, leave lang ng like. Comment down below yung mga thoughts ninyo dito sa Icons of Thea or may mga games pa kayo na gusto nyo ipareview sa akin. So, uh, comment down below lang. And don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell para para notified ka every time na may bago tayong video. So, yun lang guys. Happy earnings. You get out.